Hi, it's Paul from Umentech, and today I'm going to show you the differences and benefits of the original factory curve trigger in the CZ Shadow 2 and the Umentech flat trigger, which has just been released. The beauty about our flat trigger is that it can be used in double action and single action, so it works very, very well in all steel framed CZ pistols that have a double action and not a trigger safety. And in this case, we're using the Shadow 2 as an example, but it'll work just as well in the CZ, CZ75, SP01, Shadow, Shadow 1, Shadow 2 lines. Now, the traditional curved trigger sits pretty much in the same place in the trigger guard as our flat trigger. If you can reach the original trigger for the double action first shot, you can reach our flat trigger. But after you fired the first shot, Whereas with the traditional curve trigger, you still have the curve. With our trigger, you now have a perfectly vertical flat trigger, similar to the 1911-2011 style pistols. And if you've come from a background of shooting that style of trigger, or you're new to shooting and you prefer the flat trigger, this gives you a platform for your trigger finger that allows very precise very accurate shooting and the reason for that is basically there's no curve your figures positioned correctly on the trigger most of the time and you can manipulate it without moving it sideways that's assuming you don't jerk the trigger but it does help a lot with precision shots long distance shots shots on partial targets targets with penalties um, if you can manipulate a trigger correctly you will have the added benefit of doing that with a flat trigger at Emantec, we make three different colors of the flat trigger. Two of them are made out of aluminum, and one is made out of brass. The aluminum ones are in black and in silver. There's the black and there's the silver. And we make a brass one that's polished. We include in the kit an Emantec trigger pin, which is our competition trigger pin. We also include our competition trigger return spring. And included in the kit is an Allen key for adjusting your over travel grub screw. Now, just to give a little bit of an explanation on the over travel screw, when we manipulate the trigger, we get to a point where we pick up on the pre travel. We get to the wall where the trigger stops and then a little bit more pressure will fire the gun. After that point, any extra movement is called over travel. And we like to minimize that to a certain extent so we don't have to bring the trigger back much more further than the shot firing and then have to release it further than we need to for the firearm to reset. So we fired it, we let go, it resets. So that grub screw you can adjust with the Allen key provided so that your over travel is not substantial. We also have pre loctited that screw with a very light Loctite so that it doesn't drift when you're shooting your firearm over time because that drifting of the screw can give you excessive over travel or get to a point where the trigger won't fire or the firearm won't fire. The Emantec flat trigger is very easy to install. We're going to be making a short video in the next 24 hours, 36 hours, where we show you how to install it in a matter of minutes. And you can have a flat trigger very quickly in your firearm. Hello guys, it's Paul from Emantech and we're back to show you how to quickly remove your original trigger from your shadow pistol and replace it with the Emantech flat trigger. And we've got a cool trick to get it done real quick. So first thing you're going to do is make sure that your firearm is empty, no ammunition, and we're going to remove the slide. Now this firearm already has, just got to hit it in the right place, there we go, already has the Emantec Competition trigger pin in it. So normally if you were using your or removing the trigger from your firearm and you don't have a competition trigger pin in, you'd have to punch it quite hard with a punch to remove it because it has been staked in the factory and it'll be a little bit difficult to remove. But with the competition one, 
it's quite easy to remove for replacing parts and servicing. So make sure your hammer's forward and get your punch and just push out that competition pin, which will just fall out. There it is. We're going to use that again because it's a reusable part. And now that we've got that out, we want to turn the firearm upside down, cover the mag well, and pull the pin out so we don't lose that trigger return spring. And that's also a competition trigger return spring from Emantec. Before we go any further, I'll just show you that in the kit, when you buy the, the flat trigger, you will be receiving not only the flat trigger, but you're also getting the competition trigger return spring, which we've already got, the competition trigger pin, which is this one, and the Allen key for adjusting the grub screw in the trigger, which is that. So we'll continue now to remove the original trigger. We've taken out the trigger pin and the trigger return spring. Now we're just going to carefully line up that trigger with the big hole in the frame so we can see the pin and push it out with a punch. Now if that is the original pin inside there, you're going to have to hit it quite hard with a punch to get it to move. Once that's out, we can then remove the trigger. There we go. Easy as that. Find our pin. There it is. Grab our new flat trigger. Insert it into the slot in the bottom of the firearm. So we're going to make sure that the trigger and trigger bar line up like that. Mm -hmm. And we're going to look for the second hole. Yep, we want the second hole for this pin to go in. We're going to line it up through the big hole in the frame. Just like that. And we're going to drop that pin in to attach the trigger bar to the flat trigger. Come on, it's a little bit magnetic. There we go. And she's in. Just make sure it doesn't come back out. Now from this side, we can see that it needs to go more to the left. So it's centered and that allows our trigger to move up and down. So that trigger is now attached to the trigger bar. Now we're going to push the trigger bar down against the pressure of the trigger lifter spring to line up the hole that the trigger pin goes through. Where's our trigger pin? There it is. And we're going to push that through. Not all the way. Just through the frame. If you can see in there, just through the frame and through the one side of the trigger so that it holds it. We don't have to hold anything together. The frame is attached to the trigger through the one side. And we've got a gap here to replace our trigger return spring. So we're going to prepare our trigger return spring in a little nifty tool that we're making. And we'll probably be distributing next year. So with our nifty tool, we're going to install that trigger return spring, hopefully in one move. Line it up. Almost, there we go. And push that in by hand, remove the tool, and it's done. Just going to put a drop of oil on that spring and trigger pin and now we can put the slide back on put our slide stop back in and there's our flat trigger looks really really good and feels awesome now with our allen key we can adjust that over travel if we fire the gun and control the trigger, it fires there and we've got quite a bit of over travel. So we're just going to adjust that out by screwing the grub screw in. Let's try that again. So it fires there and we've got about half a mil of over travel. That's perfect. Make sure it resets. 
nice i'm very happy with that and that's the simple easy way to install your flat trigger from Emantech. thank you for watching please subscribe to our youtube channel and give us a like and we have a beautiful instagram page and a facebook page you can follow too thank you bye